Jason Rosillo reporting inside the Detroit Marriott here at the Renaissance Center for the 2013 Automotive News World Congress. Stay tuned for the presentation of the Polk Automotive Loyalty Awards, and you'll see it right here on AmericaJR.com. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Polk Automotive Loyalty Awards celebration here. It's really great to be back at Automotive World Congress again. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to thank Keith Crane, Peter Brown, and thank everyone at Automotive News for inviting us to be part of this great event. This is our 17th year celebrating automotive loyalty and the manufacturers and dealers who excel in creating loyal relationships with their owners. At Polk, We've enjoyed working closely with many of these dedicated folks. Along the way, we've learned that loyalty is more than just a metric on a dashboard. It's a fundamental philosophy on how manufacturers do business. Tonight, I'd like to take five minutes to share five key market facts that affected buyer behavior during the 2012 model year. We call it our five and five. So let me get started. Fact one. More consumers returned to market in model year 2012. Based on Polk's recent analysis, there were 5.9 million consumers that returned to the market in the 2012 model year, up from 5.5 in the model year 2011. When we dug a little deeper, we found that out of 11 vehicle segments that we offer awards in, nearly 50% of returning buyers were among three highly competitive market segments. Mid and full-size cars represented 20%. Mid full-size SUVs represented 19%. And the pickup truck market represented 16%. And this proves that if manufacturers are competitive in two or three of these key segments, they don't necessarily need a full product lineup to be successful. Fact number two. On average, Polk found that 48% of consumers returning to market stayed loyal to a brand. This average is approximately the same as the previous year's findings. We also found that 23% were loyal to a model. This is fairly unchanged from past years as well. It's an indicator how willing U.S. consumers are to change the models they're driving. Fact number three. We identified that 19% of the 5.9 million returning new vehicle buyers are from three distinct ethnic groups. Of the total, 4% were Asian, 6% were African American, and 9% were Hispanic. We're seeing more and more OEMs working with multicultural agencies to connect their brands with these key diverse groups. We expect the buying power of these ethnic markets to increase over the coming years. Fact number four, nearly 50% of all returning buyers came from one of three manufacturers. General Motors represented 19%, Toyota represented 17%, and Ford was 14%. With average defections at more than 40% from these brands, it leaves nearly 1.2 million buyers up for grabs every year just from these three manufacturers. If you add to that 1.7 million buyers from other manufacturers, it's easy to see that more can be done to improve loyalty and limited competitive conquest opportunities. Fact number five, loyalty rates decline after the third year of ownership and continue to decline after the fourth year and every year after that. So the length of time an individual owns a vehicle can actually have an adverse effect on the owner's loyalty. Let me explain. The challenge for manufacturers and dealers is that owners are holding new vehicles for an average now of 71 months. So it's become increasingly more difficult to keep customers engaged enough to earn repurchase loyalty. We found that improving the service retention rates of the four to seven year old vehicles is one sure way that manufacturers and their dealers can improve customer management engagement and drive higher rates of repurchase loyalty. Leasing is also strategically important when it comes to loyalty, since leasing brings customers back to the new car market more often. So there you have it, five facts in just about five minutes. And with that, let's start tonight's program in honor of those OEMs who are creating superior customer relationships. 
To help me present the awards tonight, please welcome Kendra Rawls, Senior Vice President of Global Sales and Marketing for Polk. Kendra? Thank you, Stephen. Before we begin, I'd just like to take a minute to discuss how the 2012 model year winners were determined. We looked at actual marketplace activity to determine tonight's loyalty scores. As Stephen mentioned, we analyzed approximately 5.9 million qualifying vehicle owners who returned to market to purchase a new car or light truck between October 2011 and September 2012. All of tonight's winners are based on loyalty rates which reflect a manufacturer's ability to bring customers back to the brand to repurchase or lease another vehicle of the same model, make, or manufacturer. So with that, let's get started. First up tonight is the compact car segment. A first time winner in this category, the award goes to Honda Civic. Assistant Vice President, Advertising and Marketing, American Honda Motor Company. is the award for mid and full size car. This segment represents over 20% of all U.S. owners. The mid size portion of the category is one of the most competitive segments in the industry with six major redesigns in the past 18 months. For the second consecutive year, the loyalty award goes to Subaru Outback. Tonight is Michael McHale, Director of Corporate Communications, Super of America. Luxury car category, this year's winner had a loyalty score of almost 60%. For the second year in a row, the loyalty award goes to Lincoln MKZ. Accepting the award this evening is Kimberly Cape, Lincoln Mercury Manager for Ford Motor Company. for the sports car category. This was a very close contest. Our 2012 model year winner is Ford Mustang. Accepting the award tonight is Jacques Brent, marketing manager, large car and SUV Ford Motor Company. to the luxury sports car segment, making its debut in this category, the vehicle with the highest loyalty rate is Mercedes-Benz SL Class. Accepting the award tonight is Bernie Glazer, Vice President of Marketing, Mercedes-Benz USA. Our next 
next award is for the minivan segment with 12 wins in this category since 1996. The winner for a 12th consecutive year is Chrysler Town and Country. Accepting the award this evening for Chrysler Group is Bruce Velasek, Head of Large Car and Passenger Vehicle Marketing for the Chrysler brand. the mid and full size pickup truck segment, which is one of the largest segments in the industry. More than one out of every 10 new vehicles registered is a large pickup. This is also one of the most profitable segments, which continues to be dominated by the domestic manufacturers. A loyalty award recipient since 1996, 15 times out of 17 years. The winner in this truck category goes to Ford F-Series. Doug Scott, Truck Group Marketing Manager, Ford Motor Company. for the compact sport utility vehicle. This is one of the fastest growing segments in the industry with over 50% growth in the past five years. It is now the third largest segment in the industry surpassing full size pickup volumes. Another first time winner in this category, the award goes to Honda CRV. Award, please welcome Susie Rasek, Senior Manager of Regional Marketing, America Honda Motor Company. and full-size SUV segment for the second year in a row and a four-time winner in the category. The loyalty award goes to Lexus RX. <laughs> Accepting the award is Steve Applebaum, National Engagement Marketing Manager, Toyota Motor Sales USA. tonight is for the luxury SUV category. Another repeat from last year and an eight-time winner in a category. The award goes to Land Rover Range Rover. Accepting the award is Andy Goss, President, Jaguar Land Rover North America. all of our vehicle segment award winners tonight. Let's move on to this year's Ethnic Market Awards. As Stephen mentioned, ethnic buyers represent about 19% of all owners returning to market again. The Polk Loyalty Award recognizes how well automotive brands retain their customers across three distinct and different ethnic consumer groups. First up is the Asian market loyalty to make. The winner tonight with a 52% repurchase rate is Toyota. The 
here tonight is Jim Cohen, Vice President, Toyota Product Communications, Toyota Motor Sales USA. American market loyalty to make category. This year's winner had a loyalty score of nearly 60%. The award goes to Ford. Accepting the award tonight is Amy Marentic, Group Marketing Manager, Global Large Car and Crossovers, Ford Motor Company, and Rick Bates, Vice President, Group Account Director of Uniworld. Loyalty Award is a Hispanic market loyalty to make category. This is the tightest race of the evening with Mercedes Benz, Honda, and Toyota having just a 1.3 percentage point spread separating first and third place. Very, very close race. The winner with a loyalty score of 55.9% is Honda. Accepting the award tonight is John Mendel, Executive Vice President, America Honda Motor Company. Okay, we're down to our last three awards and the most sought after honors for the evening. First up is the award for most improved loyalty to make. In our minds, this is one of the most important awards because it shows a concentrated effort to improve owner retention. With nearly a six percentage point increase over last year, the runaway winner for 2012 is Volkswagen. Accepting on behalf of Volkswagen is Robert Martel, Vice President, Customer Experience, Volkswagen of America. Our next award is for overall loyalty to make. The top three performers in the category this year are Mercedes-Benz, Ford Division, and Toyota. The winner for a second year in a row with a loyalty score of nearly 61.2% is Ford. <laughs> Accepting the award is Dave Mondragon, General Marketing Manager for Ford and Lincoln, Ford Motor Company. Loyalty to Manufacturer for the model year 2012. The top three performers in the category are Toyota, Ford, and General Motors. And the repeat winner with a loyalty score of 62%, Dave, you want to come back up here? Ford Motor Company. This is the third time since 1999 that Ford Division and Ford Motor Company have won the award for overall make and overall manufacturer. Congratulations. employees worldwide, please join me in congratulating all of tonight's 2012 winners.
Thanks for joining us and enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, Keith, it's all yours.